Thank you. Um, just a rappel aux membres des médias, si vous avez une question, levez votre main virtuelle. Just a reminder to the media, if you have a question, please raise your hand virtually. Alors, première question, on va y aller avec Richard Labbé. Richard, c'est à toi. Hi, Kaden, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, well, a couple of questions for you here. Uh, first of all, you get the, the one way. Uh, how big was that uh, for you uh, going forward? Yeah, um, going into it, I initially um, was hoping, hoping for a uh, two-year contract and um, with a three-year contract, um, it's exciting um, and uh, it shows the, the commitment on both sides. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's really exciting and um, I'm uh, fortunate for the opportunity. Do you, do you believe, uh, like you said, it's a three-year thing. Um, this is going to go a long way in the future. Uh, do you see yourself potentially as, as being uh, the, the number one goaltender with the team at some point somewhere? Yeah, I think that's, um, you know, any, any kid's uh, goal growing up. They want to um, be the number one at the highest level. Um, and uh, no, the, the goal has stayed the same for me. Um, Yeah, I, I want to play at the highest level. I want to play, uh, I want to be the, the guy at the highest level. Um, and so I'm just going to take it day by day. And um, yeah, it's exciting to, to be able to have uh, three years to, um, to try to do that. Thanks. Merci, Richard. Next question will go with Stu Cowan. Stu, you're up. Hey, Caden, um, just following up on that a bit, how much does the one-way contract maybe take some of the pressure off of you moving forward uh, now in your career? Yeah, um, it, it's huge. Um, like I said, it, it's, uh, it shows the commitment um, from, the man, from management as well. So um, yeah, to have, that, to have the, you know, that belief and that support behind you as well um, is huge. I know so far, Caden, you've played really well in the AHL. You've struggled a bit when you've been called up with the Canadians. Um, what's been the biggest adjustment going up and down, and what's the biggest lesson you've learned over uh, the first two or three years of your pro career? Yeah, there's a at, – at every level, there's an adjustment um, phase. Uh, and the AHL was, was no different. It, it took some, some time to get used to. Um, but I, I've done pretty well. Um, to uh, adjust and acclimate to, to the pace, to the, the next level. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm confident that I, I can do that um, in the NHL. And uh, I, have, I have performed well. It's just um, sometimes a little inconsistent. So uh, the biggest thing is just trying to be consistent um, uh, moving forward. Thanks, Caden. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Stu. Uh, just a reminder for a member of the media to raise your hand virtually if you have a question for Caden. Next question will go with Marco Demico. Marco, you're up. Yes, congratulations, Caden, on the new contract. Um, I just wanted to ask you, you know, uh, when it comes to development and goaltending, a lot of it is the mental game. A lot of it is uh, your momentum. And obviously the playoffs you had last year, Uh, you have a lot of momentum going into training camp. I wanted to know how are you going to utilize that to kind of make the most of this training camp in this year? Uh, I know you're waiver eligible this year, but uh, sorry, exempt this year, but not next year. So what's the game plan going into this season for you? Yeah, the, the game plan is just to, uh, like you said, build off the, the momentum that um, uh, was at the end of last season. Um, the playoffs was, was a lot of fun and Uh, I was playing uh, my best hockey, I believe. So, uh, yeah, like you said, just try to, to try to keep uh, the thing, the ball rolling, and um, just uh, take it day by day. Thank you, Caden. Congratulations again. Thank you, Marco. Prochaine question, on va y aller avec Jérémy Filosa. Jérémy, c'est à toi. Oui, Jérémy, est-ce que tu es là? Oh, OK, on a perdu Jérémy. On va y aller avec Marc-André Chaloux de RDS. Marc-André, c'est à toi. 
Yes, uh, Kieran, I just want to know uh, what's your mindset going into the training camps, knowing now that the Montreal Canadiens got three goaltender uh, on a one-way contract? Yeah, um, I think I'm just going into it with an open mind. Um, I have uh, I have to perform um, and uh, I have a job to do, but uh, at the same time, um, I put some... Um, some standards in place in, uh, in the past uh, and it hasn't really um, worked out to my benefit. So what I'm really trying to do is just go back to the basics, just take it day by day. And um, yeah, just, just making sure that, like I said earlier, just try to um, keep rolling on the momentum from, from the playoffs and uh, try to uh, just give it my best. And um, I think uh, that's my main focus going into this camp. Merci, Marc-André. Prochaine question, on va y aller avec Marc-Antoine Godet. Marc-Antoine, c'est à toi. Hello, Caden. Uh, congratulations on the contract. I uh, got a couple of questions for you. I'm sorry if uh, you've been asked this at the beginning, uh, but any, we'll, we'll see if, if, you, if it did. Um, listen, so earlier on, you, somebody brought up your, your performances during the AHL playoffs when you were stellar. A few months before, in January, you had a rough patch in Montreal. I'm curious to know, How big of a challenge was it mentally to overcome that hurdle when the situation seemed so difficult, at least from, from, you know, from the outside? How did you go about refocusing, resetting yourself and not letting yourself drown into that situation? Yeah, um, it wasn't an easy fix. I, I, the biggest thing that I was struggling with was, uh, was confidence. Um, and it wasn't an overnight night switch. It was... It was something that was progressive and gradual um, towards the end of the season going into the playoffs. Um, but yeah, it, the, the uh, goalie position is, is mainly mental, mental side of things. So um, yeah, really working on that was, was, uh, was important. Yeah. And also you, you just said that uh, you, in the past, you established standards for yourself and it did not really work out. Can you just expand on that a little bit? What, what does that mean? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think I think goals, uh, having some goals, uh, is good. But when you um, like when you have standards um, or things that you you feel like you you uh, need to complete, um, that's when when it gets a little tricky. Uh, like I said, it's a mental mental game. So um, yeah, just trying to go back to the basics, not not put too much pressure. Um, on myself to to do anything other than perform and uh, yeah just give it my all every day. I see. All right, congratulations, man. Thank you. Merci, Marc Antoine. Uh, we will try back with uh, Jeremy Filosa. Jeremy, on va réessayer. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Good. Congratulations, Caden, on the contract. First of all, um, I remember reading or hearing. Uh, Kent Hughes being asked at one point in the spring if he thought that he saw a potential goalie within the organization that could take the number one spot. And he said at that moment he didn't see anybody that would be able to take up that role. Since then, you've also had, you, you've had the great run at the end of the season, the playoffs, and now here you are, you sign a three-year deal, uh, one-way contract. Was there a discussion, was there a talk with, with Kent about, you know, Um, how the end of the season went and, and the confidence now that they have turning around and offering you this contract? Yeah, I think um, the, the three years speaks for itself um, in, in terms of uh, the commitment and the support that um, uh, I, I feel from, from management uh, both ways. Um, uh, so, yeah, I think, I think that's it. We, we haven't really had a a specific conversation regarding uh, your question, no. Thank you. Merci, Jérémy. On va y aller avec une question du studio de 91.9 Sports. C'est à vous. Can you hear me now? Yep. All right, Caden, congratulations on your contract. Congratulations on your postseason last year. 
Simple question. I'm pretty sure you want to play the highest level next year. What have you done this summer to grab one of those two jobs in Montreal, not in Laval? Yeah, I think the biggest thing that I was uh, hoping to work on was, was strength. And I felt like I've done that. I'm feeling really, really good right now. Um, so I'm really excited to, to get into camp. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye. Merci, Raphael. So uh, I think this is it for the question uh, for you, Caden. We uh, take everyone's question. So thank you very much for doing this with us today. And uh, have a nice day. Merci à tous les membres des médias d'avoir été nous, avec nous aujourd'hui et passez une belle fin de journée.